In this video, we are going to solve a problem from AIMD 1987, which is to simplify the fraction as shown. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. So when we first see this fraction, you may notice that it consists of many expressions of this form, some number to the power of 4, and about 324. So Let's see what would happen if we consider a general expression of x to the power 4 and by 324. So x to the 4 can be written as x squared and then squared again. And 324 is 18 squared. So what I'm going to do here is try to do something called completing the square. Not really the usual one, but I'm going to add some extra term so that together with x to the 4 and 324, we will get a perfect squared. And that will be 2 times x squared times 18. So that all together, we'll have x squared plus 18 whole squared. But of course, we can't simply add something into x to the 4 plus 324. So I'm going to subtract the same thing. So 1 add and 1 minus, and so both sides will then be balanced. Now, from this, I'm going to group the first three terms and rewrite that as x squared plus 18 all squared. And while the term that's left out is actually 36x squared, and that is 6x all squared. So that means I've managed to rewrite x to the 4 plus 324 into difference of squares. So now that means it's factorizable. So well, something like this. And in fact, for us to simplify the fraction in the main problem is that we ought to rewrite the expressions in the form x to the 4 plus 324 in the products of some numbers and so that we can have some factors at both the numerator and denominator that can be cancelled out. So the trick is that I'm going to rewrite the product into x plus 3 all squared plus 9 all multiplied by x minus 3 all squared added by 9. So then all the terms in both numerator and denominator will be of the form some number squared added by 9. From what we have achieved just now, for example, 10 to the 4 added by 3 into 24 can be written as 7 squared added by 9 multiplied by 13 squared added by 9. So it can be split this way, while at the same time, 4 to the 4 plus 324 can be written as 1 squared added by 9 times 7 squared added by 9. So you may see that 7 squared plus 9 will eventually be cancelled out. In fact, if you look more closely, into the components of this fraction, you will notice that these numbers, the base and the four powers, 4, 10, 16, 22, and so on, they actually form an arithmetic sequence with a common difference 6. So if we stick to the form x minus 3 whole squared plus 9 multiplied by x plus 3 all squared added by 9, you may see that for two consecutive terms, say let's take 28 and 34 as an example, for 28, I will get 25 all squared plus 9, 31 squared plus 9, while for 34, if I go for 34, I'll get 31 squared plus 9 and 37 squared plus 9. 
Now, these two terms are going to cancel out. So we can do the same thing on all other components. Then for numerator, we'll get the product of terms of the form, some number squared added by 9, from 7 up to 13, 19, all the way up to 61 squared added by 9. While for numerator, similarly, I'll get product of 1 squared plus 9, 7 squared plus 9, all the way up to 55 squared plus 9. So that means I can cancel out everything in the middle. And what's left will simply be the largest component, 61 squared plus 9, divided by the smallest component, which is 1 squared plus 9. Now we can do that by hand. So numerator is 3730 divided by 10. And so our final answer is 373.